I've been in ministry for 30 years, and here's one thing that I've noticed more and more. People, younger people, are less and less patient. They want it. They want it now. Some even feel that they're entitled to it automatically. They want to live in a Twitter-like universe with one-sentence answers. Well, life demands more than just a sentence answer. Sometimes you have to go beyond. You have to go deep inside of yourself. You have to go beyond yourself for that strength and that power. And one of the greatest strengths and power is, is evident in a person that is patient. For they know, they stand on a foundation of something greater than themselves. They don't have to just grasp at things and hold on tight in, in agony of the fear of letting go of something that they imagine to be. To have patience is to have God. Even in the face of what seem to be obstacles, you surrender your anxieties to God. And when you do so in faith, you are poised, you're patient, you're serene. You know that what is right and best for you is being brought to pass. It has been written, serene, I fold my arms and wait, nor care for wind or tide or sea. I rave no more against time or fate, for lo, my own shall come to me. As you trust in God and pray for an increase in patience and perseverance, you become infilled with a power that is unperturbed by negative appearances in your world. And you know, as this poet wrote, nor time, nor space, nor deep, nor high, can keep my own away from me. I tell you, God is at work all the time. And I also tell you that God is at work in you and in your life, and God's law of good rules in your life. You can trust God to bring the best into your life, and you can know that your own will come to you under God's wonderful good and therefore you can be poised and patient and serene instead of desperate, holding on tightly to what you perceive in this moment is your good. I pray for you this week that you are poised and patient and serene. For you know that God is at work in your life and all is well.